OK. Um, this problem might look a little bit more difficult than the ones you, um, that we've done previously, except for maybe the fraction one. Um, but it looks very similar. But you see, oh, these numbers are a little bit different. But don't stop. Don't stop. It's OK. What we're going to do is we're going to use the same order. We're going to use the same operations we did before. We're just going to apply them to some different numbers. So it's all good. Um, so again, first thing we need to do is we need to look at what's happening to my variable. Addition and subtraction, um, I need to undo it. So I see that I have addition, but it's not very clear to me that I'm adding what I'm adding, right? I have 1 plus t over 1.8. So I know t, I'm adding t to something, but what am I adding to t? Well, remember, the commutative property of addition states that I can, it do, the order doesn't matter when adding. So I really, I can write this as t over 1.8 plus 1 equals negative 7.3. So when you're first starting doing these, you might want to rewrite it. It might help you out to see that, oh, I'm adding a 1 to my variable. That's what I need to undo. But once you get enough practice, 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 you'll see that, oh, OK. Um, it'll be pretty obvious for you to be able to work that out. So I'm going to subtract the 1 on both sides using subtraction property of quality. Then I have t over 1.8 equals, because uh, positive 1, negative 1, they say cancel out. But we don't want to say cancel out. They go to 0, and 0 plus t over 1.8 is t over 1.8. Um, and then negative 7.3 minus 1, remember, subtracting our numbers is going to give me a negative 8.3. Now, just to evaluate my equation, I need to say, all right, since I'm dividing my variable, divided by 1.8, to solve for that, I need to undo dividing by 1.8. So I need to multiply by 1.8. So I multiply by 1.8 on both sides. Well, the 1.8 divided by 1.8 goes to 1. So that's going to cancel out to t, or cancel to, or go to 1. 1 times t is t. And then that equals negative 8.3 times 1.8, which you should do in your calculator, or which I previously already did, which is going to be a negative 14.94. And there you go. That's your solution that makes this equation true.